Meanwhile, at the Nemo Farm Animal Hospital, fourth-year student Aziza has just admitted Leslie, a miniature donkey with a pain in her mouth. Leslie, are you still dopey? Can you still feel the sedative? One of the benefits of being at the Cornell University Hospital for Animals is that it is a hospital full of specialists. And so you're able to see a lot of cases that you would normally never see, especially if you're in general practice. Aziza will have to check Leslie's mouth to see what's causing the ulcers. And there's a technique for everything. So when you grab a hold of the tongue to pull it to the side, mm -hmm. remember not to reef on it. Pull it nice and gently so you can look in. You have to get down on your knees. Yep. Reach in between the two teeth cavities. Hold the tongue. That's the hardest part. Ah! <laughs> this is my first time working with donkeys, and it is proving to be an interesting experience. Can you reach in? I can reach in. It push the tongue down first against the bottom of the mouth, and you kind of scoop it uh, in and grab it out. Got there it. you go. So now you go ahead and don't put your fingers in between the back teeth. Just take it and pull it out like that. Now that's how you're going to look in to see. Okay. All right, I see that hook. Domestic horses and donkeys often wear their teeth down unevenly, causing hooks and sharp points. These can result in mouth ulcers, which make it difficult for the animal to eat. All right. Now it's the same thing, I let go over the tongue because she'll just bite you. Reach down, push it down, and then pull it over. There you go. Awesome. Vet techs are a very reliable and valuable resource to have. They know the different tricks of the trade, and it makes the learning curve not nearly as sharp, at least for me.